right welcome 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 guys i'm back y'all with another video this is going to be for the sign of capricorn all right so we're going to take a look into the month of may and see what messages we have coming things that are coming towards you um so without further ado let's get into it um, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, all that information is in the drop box below as well, guys. Um, you can check out the website. This is my baby here. This is my latest project here. Okay, this is the Energy Clearance Spray. I absolutely love this spray because a lot of people were messaging me like, hey, I want to get the Sage Bundle, but I can't really get, I can't really Sage um where i'm at you know we may live with other people or whatever your situation may be or if you're at work or in the car look all you have to do is just simply a quick little spray you know a quick little that's it that's gonna get the job done you are around some negative people and you're trying to get rid of that energy real quick you know it has this lemony scent okay because it does have florida water in it as well so it has like that florida water scent um so nobody will really know you know it'll just be a good fragrance but it's really cleansing the air okay this item is available on the website all right so you guys can order that it's very affordable i did make it very affordable for you guys and yeah check that out on the website guys um all of that information is in the drop box below all right so let's talk capricorns let's see what messages we have for you guys all right so before we do this, these are going to be love messages. So we're going to pull from uh, the romance angels here. And let's see what's going on. Let's get an energy of what's coming in love. All right. So give me a message for Capricorn, please. What's going on with Capricorn and Capricorn's person? What's going on with messages? We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Then we also have soulmate here at the bottom. We got release your ex. Some of you have just released someone and you are in your soulmate mode. Like you're looking for a soulmate. You're looking for, you're going after what you feel like bet, better suits you. Okay. And this worth waiting for, this is divine time. And like, it's like about time. <laughs> it's like about time energy. We got healing family issues. Okay. We got healing family issues. And then we got new love. Of, give your relationship a chance so for some of you you have let go of the past and you're on to something new you're going to give a new relationship a shot here okay and there's some things that you may need to heal and work on okay and we got getting to know each other okay and then we got children here so Someone here could be getting to know your children or their, or their children. You could be blending families together or there is talks about children, okay? Um, there is some things that you may need to forgive and let go of in regards to your past relationship. We got forgiving and learning and past life relationship. And, you know, you may need some friends or a support team to help you get past a lot of things from the past. But you really do feel like this person could be the one for you. You may be going on some type of trip here. Um, and you just feel like it's, it's safe for you to let your guard down with this person. You feel safe with this person. You feel like you could trust this person. All right? I feel like there's a lot of romancing going on, a lot of passion here. All right, but I feel like you're taking things to the next level with someone new, okay? You've been doing this. You've been calling in this person for a while now. And, you know, I feel like for some of you, you're disconnecting from a lot of deception. Maybe that was going on a lot in your past. Um, but you free, you're freeing yourself from this. And I feel like you really do have a chemistry with this new person. All right, so let's see what messages we got. What's coming out for the tarot? Messages are there for the Capricorn, 
the goats. <laughs> what messages are there for my Capricorns? What's coming ahead? What does Capricorns need to know? Going ahead for the month of May. For the month of May. All right, we're going to stop right here. We got the Six of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like some of y'all are moving on. You you're move you're you are moving on or you have moved on. This is something that took you a while to do. It took you a while to do this. Yeah. It took you a while to make this decision. But I feel like nonetheless you're making a decision. Yeah, see we got you guys as the chariot. You're moving forward. You're progressing and moving forward. Okay. Temperance could be dealing with the Sagittarius. We got Virgo here with the Hermit and the Moon. Alright, we got the Queen of Cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Definitely Pisces or Cancer. We got the World. And definitely, you guys are closing the chapter. You're forward movement. But I feel like you're kind of feeling anxious about it. I feel like you're, I feel like for some, you may be contemplating on it. Like, you know, is this the right decision? You know, is this what I really want? Because we got your energy as the nine of swords. Okay. But well, some of you have already made that move. Okay. And somebody that you're dealing with is just sitting around waiting for you to make that decision. Okay. We got the ace of wands. And then we got the sun. You could be dealing with a Leo. All right. So let's see what we got here. Let's do some clarifiers. We got Cancer. We got Virgo. We got Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. I think I said Cancer. We got Leo here as well, too. Why is the Hermit here? Tell me more about this Hermit. The Six of Cups. Yeah, like, you guys are looking back at your past. Like, you, maybe you've revisited your past, okay? And this is something that you've been, like I said, you've been contemplating on this for a long time. Like, revisiting your past. Um, now, with the Emperor here, you could be dealing with an Aries, or this is a father, or... I'm getting father and kids. I feel like you, you're you regretting something here. Because something was just... Five of swords? Something was just too much. Like it was too much pettiness. Too much arguments. Too much disagreements. Too much fighting below the belt. And I feel like you walked away from it. I don't feel like you feel the same. With the lovers and the two of swords... And I feel like you're going more so for a person that matches your energy, King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, who has the same passion. Who You guys are both passionate equally about each other, okay? So this is something that you are actually looking for for it to being successful, all right? So tell me more about the Chariot card here. King of Wands, okay, yeah, so you're taking action moving forward, I feel like this is something that you want, but I feel like some of you may have already taken that step, and some of you are feeling like you wish you would have waited, some of you have already stepped out and, and made this move, some of you are kind of like just contemplating it, but for the ones who've already made this move, I feel like some of you guys are wishing that you would have made, wish you would have waited, because for one, I feel like somebody listens to their friends too much, or somebody is going off of based off of other people's opinions here, um, and now you could be feeling like, damn, I should have, shouldn't have took that risk. Ten of Swords and the Fool. Okay, like maybe you're feeling like a fool, like dang, I, I really should have waited. I think I moved too fast, or maybe I should have did it in a different way. So now some of you are even contemplating kind of like, let's slow this down, okay? Let's slow this down. And 
I feel like your goal is to find the perfect relationship that fits you. Some of you want a business partnership. You want a partnership, okay, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups where you guys handle business together, where you guys are on the same page, like, as far as goals and finances. But I feel like there may be conflict in that area. You're in conflict with this person. Why is temperance here? You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay, you got this offer, okay? There's an offer on the table that you want to explore. You want, you really want to explore this option. You really, really do. But I feel like you're going back and forth about it. Like, some of you may have options or you're living a double life or you're just juggling. Like, you're juggling. And I feel like you're watching this person. You're spying on this person. You're seeing if they're making any changes. Like, I feel like you also see, you also feel like this uh, situation, this offer that's on the table could really more so go in your favor. Okay? I feel like you expose the truth here with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe the offer on the table was, look, if you tell the truth, you tell the truth, then look, we're going to go run off into the bliss together. We're going to do this. We're going to be that. We're going to do it, do, boo, boo, boo. And I feel like you exposed your truth. We got the Queen of Swords here. The truth was definitely put on the table. Okay. Somebody could have been offered money, okay? Money could have been on the table, but I'm getting like somebody somebody uh, put an offer on the table and the offer was damn good, okay? The offer was good. So let's see. Why is the moon here? The lovers, wow. I feel like for some of you could have been dealing with uh, Pisces or Gemini, but some of you guys have, have been hiding your feelings, okay, from possibly a Queen of Wands, about a Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, here's you guys' energy with the devil. You could be obsessed with this person. You think about this person all the time, but somebody here got their heart broke. Okay, somebody here got their heart broken with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Definitely somebody got their heart broken. Okay, I feel like you had a lot of offers, a lot of options on the table already. Um, and you had to break some hearts. You was willing to break some hearts. Okay, so tell me more about this Queen of Cups. You broke some hearts for this person. Tell me about the Queen of Cups here. The Five of Cups. We got the Five of Cups. Somebody here in the past. We got the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody was a side piece here. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a third party. And you had a side piece. We got you over here feeling a little guilty or regrets about this situation. Somebody here was extremely surprised and left disappointed. Okay, somebody was extremely surprised and they were left disappointed. Because I feel like... With the Six of Pentacles, like, somebody didn't get, uh, there was no equal give and take. It wasn't, it wasn't anything there, um, that you wanted, okay? So, <laughs> I feel like you had to let this person down. Why is the Five of Cups here? Hangman, okay? You put this person on hold. You put them on hold, okay? Because... You feel like very real victorious. Like you feel like you got something. You really feel like you won in this situation. Okay. You feel like, yeah, you 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 really feel like you got something good. Somebody has y'all nose wide open. Why is the world here for future energy? So it looks like you're closing chapters. Yeah, you walked away. You're walking away. You're closing a chapter and you're walking away. 
okay i'm not sure if this is a sexual connection that you have we got the devil and the queen of wands but this makes me feel like somebody is extremely um like obsessed with somebody here and somebody i'm getting this again somebody is getting their heart broken somebody has too many options to just have one and I don't know if this is you guys' energy or somebody else's energy, but somebody, it's just too many options to have one. Okay, why is the Eight of Cups here? The Two of Wands. Look at this. Okay, you're closing this chapter and you're looking ahead. You're looking ahead. You are looking ahead. You're running towards it. Look at this. You, you're running full force. Why is the two of wands here? Yeah, see, you're looking at, you're ready for something long term. Like, for some of you, for some of you, there could have been a marriage where somebody was being sneaky. There was some sneaky stuff going on. So I'm getting that there was a side piece. Why is the ten of pentacles here? The seven of cups. I'm seeing multiple streams of income. But nonetheless, a bunch of offers. The Knight of Wands came out in reverse. So somebody here is definitely dealing with the player. I don't know if it's you guys that are <laughs> that are the player. Or somebody here could possibly get played in some way, shape, or form. Somebody's breaking the rules. Like there was some rules that came with this. And I'm feeling like somebody's breaking the rules. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Eight of Wands. King of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Look at this. I'm getting that there could be some arguing going on. Somebody's talking real aggressive. And somebody's being cold. Ooh, somebody get cut off and there's a breakup. Somebody's getting cut off. Because they told their, their, how they really feel. So somebody don't want to hear about how the other person feels. That starts an argument. And then it looks like you guys are closing the chapter and walking away and looking ahead. I feel like you're about to see somebody's true colors. Why is the nine of swords here? The six of wands. That just fell out. I feel like you're overthinking a situation. Um, I feel like... I feel like you're overthinking the situation because here we go with this two of swords energy. Like you're turning a blind eye to something. There's something that you really aren't noticing. Why is the six of wands here? The Hierophant. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. I'm getting somebody could be asking for gifts or money. Why is the Hierophant here? <clears throat> the high priestess the high priestess and the hierophant this is someone who could be very spiritual I'm getting like some of y'all thought that this was going to be I feel like some of y'all thought that this was going to be uh, bring you some type of happiness and I feel like you start to build with this person. Um, I feel like you've been waiting a long time for this. But there could be some karma involved in this situation. Some of y'all could be dealing with the karmic. Um, we got the Ten of Swords and the Star. Like somebody's giving up. Somebody's getting tired of the dis being disrespected or treated. Uh, somebody's getting tired of being treated a certain way. Someone here could be married and they're holding on to that. And someone is going to stop putting in as much effort. Okay, you could be dealing with a Leo here with the strength card here. But somebody here keeps, I'm getting a, someone is repeatedly asking for someone to make a certain type of move, um, just they're doing that to see if you're actually going to make some changes. Like they want to see how far you would go. 
how far can they get you to go? But every time they feel like they bring this situation up, it starts an argument between you and them. Okay? So this leaves this person uh, queen of swords, real bitter, heartbroken, and sad. Okay? Because they feel like they move whenever you ask for something. Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and Ace of Pentacles. Whenever you asking for a gift, or you asking for money, or you're asking for them to, to you know, go the extra mile for them, they do it. But you move, you, they feel like you take your time with them, okay? So this may have you in this Nine of Swords energy. Like, this person got you tripping out. This person got you tripping out. Why is the Three of Wands here? Yep, they're waiting. This person is waiting for you to fill their cup. This person is waiting for you to fill their cup because they feel like they do a lot for you and they've been waiting for you to fill their cup up, okay? But like I said, every time I feel like this brought up, it starts an argument, okay? It starts some type of argument. And this person is watching you. They're spying on you, okay? And they're going to stop. I feel like their defense mechanism is them going to be, uh, you know, kind of stop uh, giving, having that giving hand, okay? And this is to put you in submission, okay? This is their way to stand their ground, okay? There also is some sneakiness going on about some third parties. There's a third party here. I feel like this is just, uh, this relationship is possibly, like, they feel like this is going to be a mess, a hot-ass mess type of relationship, to be honest, okay? But it's, nonetheless, they took the risk. They took the risk, okay? And they feel like you move too slow. All right, so Ace of Wands here. Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Um, somebody's getting tired of asking. I'm getting like somebody's starting to get really, really tired of, you know, being questioned. Um, always being asked to make changes. Somebody is uh, extremely toxic, extremely possessive overly possessive um like this person cares a little too much i feel like you could ooh, you could possibly get tired of that okay this is in your hopes and fears like you're fearing that you're going to get tired of explaining yourself to this person or you're going to be tired of the constant questioning Okay, I feel like there's uh, the Knight of Pentacles came out with that Ace of Pentacles. So somebody is, you know, every time somebody is offering something, it comes with questions and, you know, all this extra stuff. The outcome is the sun. Like I said, you could be dealing with the Leo. Why is the sun here? Yeah, the fool. You took a leap. I feel like you guys are going to go ahead and take that leap of faith. You're going to go ahead and take that leap of faith. I feel like you cut off you cut off all of your options. You let all left all of that behind you to be with this empress. To be with this empress. You really you really think that you feel like this could work. You really feel like this could work. For some of you, you're even going to get a divorce. Like you're divorcing someone. If there's a marriage involved, you feel like this person is special. For some of you, I think it's an Aquarius or a Leo. Okay? This person could make you feel really, you know, uh, give you a lot of confidence. Um, makes you feel really good when you're feeling low. Okay, and you've been waiting on this for a long time. You've been waiting on this type of energy for a long time. For a long time. And I feel like other people may not be giving you that energy. They're not giving you what you want. I feel like some of you guys party or drink a lot or hang out with friends. But I feel like you're ready now to uh, settle down. You're ready to settle down. Um, tell me more about this empress. 
Queen of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like there there was juggling going on. Got the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. There's still some issues here with the Four of Wands and the Five of Swords. There's still some a few issues here. <clears throat> There's some issues here. There's some issues here. But I feel like some of you are going to go ahead and take this leap of faith. You got the King of Cups. Like you care about this person. Okay, you care about this person. I feel like this is it keeps saying the seven of pentacles. You've been being very patient. You've been waiting to express how you really feel about this person. You've been holding it in. All right, then we got the four of cups. The four of cups. I feel like you're not interested in all of these other queen of wands. Okay, <laughs> I feel like this person has broke down your guard. Okay, this person has broken your guard down. And this person wants to see how far you're willing to go. And I'm telling you, for some of you, is whether or not if you're going to divorce, okay? We got the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Whether or not if you're going to end something from your past. If you're willing, how far are you willing to go for this, okay? To keep them around, okay? And I feel like they want you to make some changes, they want you to make a lot of changes. It's going to be a lot of <laughs> changes that you're going to have to make. This person, I feel like, could be, like I said, could be a little possessive, um, a little obsessive. Um, and I feel like there is going to be a lot of, a, a lot of disagreements at first. But I'm getting, like, changed behavior um, and a lot of asking questions. But you feel like this is a match for you. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Two of Cups. You feel like this person is a match for you. Nonetheless, I still see some sneaking around going on. Seven of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Somebody here is just like reckless. Um, has some real reckless energy. But I feel like this is what you this is what you want. This is something that I feel like you guys have your nose. This person got your nose wide open with this offer. This offer that's on the table. All right, so let's see. Let's get some messages of love. Well, no, let's do this. Let's do use the twin flame deck here. Let's see what additional messages we got. So let's see what what can Capricorn expect from this new love offer. Ooh, we got devotion and compromise. Compromising when there's some grief. Okay, so let's see what else. We got big dreams and union. Okay, so this is something that you've been definitely waiting for. Like, this is something that you wanted. You wanted this. You've been waiting on this. And then we got forgiveness. Yeah, there's going to be some compromising going on here. This is something that I feel like you guys have been dreaming of. This is something that you want. All right, so let's see. Give me more messages for Capricorn, please. How does this person feel about Capricorn? We got acceptance and past life love. Give me one more card. Healing. All right, so this person wants you to make a decision. I feel like this person may have pulled their energy back from you um, because they did that because they wanted you to make a decision, okay? They are in acceptance. Everything's happened for a reason. You know, they're kind of willing to accept certain things about your past, um, but they're looking for, like, they want you to heal from that. They, they're they wanting you to heal from that energy. All right, and let's see what you want to tell this person.
What is Capricorn's feelings towards this person? I can't stop thinking about you. I wish I could share my good news with you. And I hope that you can forgive me one day. I want you. Okay, so Capricorns, you, you're constantly thinking about this person. You want to share some good news. They lost, they Capricorns, it looks like y'all lost yourself for a little while. But you're regretting lying to this person. <laughs> And they're grateful. You you guys are grateful. So this could be you and this person's energy. I feel like you constantly think about this person. Um, you like to share your good news with them. And you're, this person speaks to you even through music. You're asking for forgiveness. And you're grateful for a spiritual lesson. Okay? And even when you two were apart, I feel like... Um, like when you're not around each other, you still feel that person's energy. Okay. So, all right. So that's the message that I have for Capricorns. All right. So if this message resonated with you, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe as well. Guys, check out my energy clearing spray on the website, honey. And if you're interested in the in booking a personal that information all of that is in the drop box below all right until next time guys ciao for now